Welcome to Microcontrol Systems Online Training Facility. This module will deal with the Magnum and the MicroMag sensors. The Magnum and the MicroMag sensors consist of the following. An MCS T100, which is a temperature sensor. The MCS 200F, 500F, and 667F are all pressure transducers. The MCS CT300, 500 and 1500 are current transformers. The MCS Gateway is a converter that allows you to convert from RS-232 to RS-485 or RS-45 to RS-232. The MCS Well-1 quarter is a well. There are a half inch wells, three quarter inch wells. There's also tubes and they're for temperature sensors. The MCS Digital Controller is a microprocessor that allows you to control digital scrolls. The MCS Voltage Board allows you to read the current voltage and feed that back into one of the micros. The MCS Static 5 is used to read static pressure in ducts so that you may vary the speed of the fan. The MCS Zone Hume is a temperature and humidity sensor. It is used in areas that do not require the ability to change the set point from that area. The MCS STAT is used to control temperature and humidity in a zone. The MCS T100 is in a deep drawn stainless steel tube. It is extremely fast acting and goes from 32 degrees to 212 degrees Fahrenheit in less than 30 seconds. It is extremely accurate. It will read between plus and minus 0.36 degrees F from 32 to 212 degrees. It has a range from minus 40 to 230 and there is a bracket available for mounting in a duct for supply or return sensors. It is provided with 20, 40 or 60 feet of cable so there are no breaks and can be ordered with a longer cable on special request. The MCS 200F, 500F, and 667F are a family of stainless steel pressure transducers. They have a welded diaphragm and use spatter technology as the sensing element. It has the ability to handle much higher noise and vibration protection. The Packard connector is removable, making it easy to service. The units are interchangeable with the older TI-200, 500, and 667s. It comes with 20, 40, or 60 feet of cable. And again, it can be ordered with a longer cable on special request. The MCS CT300 is also available in a 500 and a 1500. The center hole of the 300 is 1 inch. It has an accuracy of plus or minus 2%. The printed circuit board on top is bolted directly onto the CT and because the resistor is mounted there it eliminates potential danger. There is a removable terminal block for easy wiring. It is a small footprint with integrated printed circuit board and it provides protection for over and under voltage. The MCS gateway will convert RS-232 to RS-485 or it will allow you to convert RS-485 to RS-232. RS-232 is limited in distance to about 50 feet. The RS-485 has a range of about 5,000 feet. There are nylon collars on the board for easy mounting, and there is a removable terminal block for easy wiring. The MCS well and tube family they are two and a half inch deep brass wells. They are small and fast acting. They come in a quarter, a half, and three quarter inch fittings on the well. And the tube is for mounting on pipes. There is a well for conduit, which is threaded on both ends. There is also a one and a half inch deep brass well for smaller pipes. The MCS Digital Scroll Controller replaces the Copeland Digital Controller. It has a compressor relay output, it has an alarm relay output, and it has a triac output for the unloader. 
It operates between 1.45 volts DC to 5 volts DC, obtaining an analog signal from another micro. It will modulate the digital scroll from 10 to 100 percent. The analog output for suction pressure is averaged and is available to the end user. The MCS voltage board provides input voltage to the microprocessors. It provides a 0 to 5 volt DC signal. The MCS Static 5 provides duct static pressure. It is a 0 to 5 volt DC sensor input and is used to modulate evaporator fans in the supply and the return ducts. The MCS Zone Humidity provides zone temperature. It also provides optional zone humidity. The MCS STAT is a remote communicating thermostat. It provides zone temperature and it provides optional zone humidity. You will also notice that it has a small button on the bottom right which allows you to have a reset option to override a current schedule. The system switch has off, auto, and scheduled on it. And the fan switch has auto or on. There is a display which will display temperature, humidity, and set points. You'll notice the arrow points to actual. If you hit the set key, it will move the arrow to cooling. If you hit it again, it will move it to heating. If you press the two up-down arrow keys together, you will be provided with humidity. You can modify the set points from the keypad. That's the end of this presentation. If you have any questions, please contact your manufacturer or contact MCS directly. Thank you.